surly attitude on the way to the ring and the voices of the let's say surly veterans of Premier Championship Wrestling have gotten quite a bit louder here in the past few months. They are uh, not letting their complaints go idly by. They're letting their voices heard whether we want to hear them or not. along with True Grit Bruce Gray expressed their displeasure with the ways of the wrestling business today. The fan mentality, the wrestler mentality, the ring style, the, the, the gif mentality. Tend to. Nate Matson, uh, you heard his comments there. I think the key was him uh, degrading Sless Taylor for being a high flying athlete. Uh, Nate and Bruce feel that Sless is an acrobat, he's a stunt man, he's uh, all flash, all show. And when it comes down to catch as catch can wrestling, Sless can't hang. And I'm not sure that I agree with that, but certainly uh, Sless going to attempt to prove Nate Matson wrong. Sless Taylor has pointed out on our premier social media quite accurately that he's defeated Bruce Gray. And he also pointed out that you know what, Nate Matson talks about being influential with so many major stars of the day, so if you got an issue with the way the business has gone, maybe look in the mirror. Celeste Taylor uh, has pulled no punches with these uh, athletes and these and their claims against him. Celeste Taylor's not going to be bullied. Celeste Taylor's not going to be uh, taken advantage of and picked on and belittled and, you know, denied his right to wrestle as he sees fit. And he's out here to fight for that right. Well, it's not so much uh, picking on or poking fun or anything like that. Nate Matz is just trying to teach the kids of a better time. Before before everybody had a, a GPS in their phone, when you had to download things and print them out off MapQuest, or before you could go on Twitter and beg people to say something nice about you. You didn't worry about that type of thing. Oh, look at me. Tell me I feel, or tell me I'm wonderful so I can feel great today. Hashtag whatever stupid hashtag or, or a picture of a rainbow with some stupid inspirational quote underneath. Nate Matson is a man. He's trying to teach people that this is a man's business. And I, for one, am personally behind him and Bruce 110%. Well, I mean, I don't know what, what printing out MapQuest directions has to do with, with wrestling, but Nate Matson looking to school Celeste Taylor, keep him on the ground. Nate Matson needs to understand that, you know, what Celeste does, it's, it's socially acceptable. The fans love it. It's all over Twitter. It's all over Facebook. Uh, people marvel at the athleticism of Celeste Taylor. They celebrate uh, what Celeste Taylor does. 
and the fact that Nate Matson feels left out, Nate Matson feels that maybe he should have his own celebration, he should have his own cheering section. Uh, I get that Nate feels left out, but Nate's had his day in the sun. He's been at this for 21 years. Celeste Taylor, I think many people feel he is the athlete of today, of the now, and he should have a chance to express himself as he sees fit. Well, I mean, he can express himself all he wants. Why can't we have a gift of, of maybe a, a hammerlock or, or an arm ringer or something like that? That's what I want to say. Go make one. There's, you're, you're allowed. I don't know how the kids make their gifts or gifs or whatever they're called. I think it's gif. Right, well, There's a G in there somewhere. Well, right now, it's Nate Matson. Uh, controlling Celeste Taylor. Celeste, amazing agility. And that's the hammerlock of the amazing Nate Matson, who immediately seeks the comfort of the ropes. Now, from what I understand, Nate and Bruce are far from the only veterans to feel this way. And I've heard rumors and rumblings there's a growing dissent from a lot of veterans of this business over how they feel the business has evolved and progressed. And the likes of Celeste Taylor and many other similarly, similarly styled athletes uh, have been t uh, talked about as, let's say, potential examples. Well, there, there's a lot of uh, us versus them mentality. Uh, there's, and it's not so much, I would say, from the veterans. It's from these young kids. You know, if somebody has a different opinion, suddenly they're a bully or, or you need to shut that down. That's not what you need to do. You need to respect the people that came before. What about the veterans who are claiming that the young athletes today as Celeste great agility on the drop kick there's something somehow wrong about what Celeste Taylor's doing right now lateral press for one just because it wasn't the way Nate did it or Nate was taught to do it uh, everybody's got their own interpretation their own style and not everybody has to be a robot and be identical as Celeste Taylor into the baseball slot what's wrong with expressing yourself there's, no, there's a time for that but this is not the place the only thing that really counts in that 16 by 16, 18 by 18, 20 by 20, however big the wrestling ring is, the only thing that matters is getting your hand raised at the end of the night. And there's not a lot of people that have had it happen more to them than Nate Matson. Well, let's point out that Nate Matson was able to sidestep. Celeste Taylor was going dive. He was thinking high risk, and Matson a step ahead. Now, if Celeste had hit that maneuver, certainly this matchup could be over already. Maybe that's why Nate Matson's got an issue with this high impact offense. Joe, can we just go back to Bill Watts' rules? Wasn't that a simpler time? Bill Watts' rules. Absolutely. Seems like just a year or two ago we were talking about that. Well, we were. And Nate, oh, able to hang up uh, Celeste Taylor on that top rope. There's a great use of the top rope. And sends Celeste in the hard way. Good grief. Another great use of the top rope. Smashed his face right on the ground. Nate got a lot of uh, velocity behind his attempts to hurl Celeste back into the ring, and Nate now grounding the wrist taker. See, there, there's another veteran maneuver. Choking people blatantly. Well, he has five seconds. The ref didn't get to a five. Is that wrestling? Is that how the wrestling business works? Is that how the comp this company should evolve and start choking people? Just because we've been choking people for decades, let's keep choking people. There's nothing wrong with choking people, right? Well, see, I'm glad you're finally starting to see the light. I mean, if it's oh. effective, you do it. I see. How do you drive a car? You, you put the key in the ignition, you turn it, and then you drive off wherever you need to go. It, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Sless dropped the... Vote first once again, and Nate. Well, let me know what Nate's setting up for here. It's an amazing Nate specialty. You want to see something amazing? Running knee connects. And certainly Nate has a very hard-nosed, aggressive style that behooves him. Into the cover here. One count only, Celeste to the rope. What a coward. It, oh, stop. it doesn't give Nate the right to dictate how everyone else should live their life. Don't look at it as, as him dictating to people. Look at it as a strong, aggressive suggestion. Like when you, sometimes you have to discipline your children. You don't always want to, but it's for their better good. Oh, uh, I, that's very subjective. I think Celeste Taylor has had to overcome a lot in his career. People who've held him down, people who've told him he's not good enough, people who've told him that his style isn't right, veterans who are jealous of him. Celeste Taylor's fought for everything he's earned in this industry, and he's fighting for an opportunity to get the best of Nate Matson here tonight, but Nate back with a neck breaker. Can't you understand as Nate 
where they cover for 2K. I understand the plight of Celeste Taylor. And yeah, he, he, he's doing great in this matchup. He's got a potential to, to do very well in the moment. But, I mean, he's had to go, go through so much to get here. And that's all well and good. And if we're putting a biography out on Celeste Taylor, we can include that. Good for him. Yay. Hip hop. Hooray. But he would. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, roll up by Celeste. Celeste's going to catch Nate off guard. Nate getting distracted by these fans, but Matson back on top of it. Now, he should have let Nate have his moment. He was trying to educate the people amongst the ringside area as well. There's no end to this man's talent. Now, back to your point. Great for Celeste Taylor. He's a hell of an athlete. He, he's a hell of a competitor. We've seen him do impressive things that I personally can't even fathom, but he could just learn a thing or two. That's all I'm saying. Just open your ears and eyes and keep your mouth shut. Now, imagine, imagine... Celeste Taylor, if he just completely bought into Nate Matson, what would that look like? I'm not so sure. I I have a hard time envisioning that because these guys are, are such polar opposites. Stylistically, Matson the sleeper, I don't think Celeste would be comfortable adopting the Nate Matson style. I think Nate Matt what Nate Matson does works for Nate Matson, but Celeste Taylor can do things that just defy gravity. Absolutely, completely agree. And, and so could Nate Matson, I will say, if he chose to. I'm sure he, he, he has a, quite a vast array of offense that he chooses not to unleash. Well, I think mean, Nate uh, is very calculated in what he does, very intelligent in uh, all of his in-ring maneuverings. The sleeper hold sits into Celeste. Celeste having a battle back. Shot to the kidneys of the inverted DDT, nicely done. Nate on top, two count only. You think Bruce Gray is watching on from somewhere? I'd absolutely think that he is definitely watching on. Like I, like I said earlier, these two are, Nate Matson and Bruce Gray are, are two socks in the same drawer. They're two peas in a pod. They're, they're a horse of the same color. However you want to use the cliche to describe them, they, they have the same focus, the same mindset, and that's going to lead to great things. And, and, and other people fall in line with that. I'm one of them. Well, it's because you're not as hip as we are. It's not my fault. Not as hip. Whatever you want to claim, uh, you and Nate Matson are to justify uh, the fact that you think you can tell the world how to live their lives. That's just fine and dandy as far as I'm concerned. But right now, Celeste Taylor, the situation getting a bit dire as Matson has had control of this matchup for several minutes now. Well, that's what Nate Matson does. Joe, would you have a, a pediatrician oh. tell you how to fix your car? Now, how disrespectful. Nate Matson runs across the ring to slap the guy in the face. Is that wrestling? Strangler Lewis ever do that? No, but I think George Hackenschmidt used to slap a lot of people back in his day. I'd, I'd have to ask Thunder Kitty for clarification on that. I'm back what I was saying. You wouldn't have a pediatrician run your car because they don't know what they're doing. You want somebody with that experience. Uh-oh. And Celeste Taylor has experienced Nate Matson quite enough crossbody. And there are no pediatricians in the ring. You got a couple of wrestlers, by the way, who are more than capable of wrestling. I'm trying to make a metaphor, Joe. Celeste Taylor with a Samoan drop. On top, two count only. And Nate Matson barely got out of that. We heard the introduction from Mike Z earlier talking about uh, Celeste Taylor's Samoan heritage and certainly paying off at this point in the matchup. Hard shot. And Nate's feeling it. Well, certainly you'd have to think that Nate Matson certainly been in a been in a lot of wars of, of all uh, kinds. Uh, Samoans and, and, and rookies and, and, and veterans. and You name the type of person, I guarantee that Nate Matson has been in the ring with Oh, Sus went high risk, Matson out of the way, but Sus caught him on the rebound. And Matson down. Sus on top, here we go, cover, near fall. You know, one thing I will give credit to Sus for, he's being smart when he's in that ring. He's also hooking the leg, trying to get as much weight over the body and Nate Matson as he can. That is one thing I will give him credit for, uh, aside from his ability and, and everything that we know he's capable of. He does have veteran instincts. In Probably learned that from, you know, watching Nate Matson. Oh, I see. Well, Celeste likes to go springboard 450. If he hits this, this match is over. Got him. No, oh, Nate got the knees up. Nate got the knees up and right around the face. And Nate calls that Nate Mile. Straight from Detroit. Feet all over the ropes. Nate Matson steals a victory.
Now, how does putting your feet all over the ropes prove anything as far as being a better wrestler? Nate just proved he was a bit shadier and a no. bit more conniving, no. maybe a bit more desperate. How no, about that? No, 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 no. See, Nate's feet were positioned as such that the ropes got in his way, oh. and they hooked onto his feet, and unfortunately for him... He, there was nothing he could do about it. The three count has already happened. Therefore, your winner, Nate Matson. Let's move on, Joe. Well, Nate Matson gets the victory, but still running his mouth and still acting like he's better than everybody and still acting like he dictates how wrestling goes. Oh, Slash Taylor! A drop kick and Nate is backpedaling. Slash Taylor gets the last word here tonight. <laughs> 